Assalamualaikum and very good day to everyone. So today we're gonna continue with our new topic which is sequence and series. So let us look into its learning outcomes first. So there are two top subtopics for this particular chapter which is the first one is sequence and series and then the second subtopic is binomial expansion so we shall look into the learning outcomes first first you need to know how to write n term of simple sequences and series second one you have to know how to find the n term of an arithmetic sequence and series and then lastly for the first subtopic you need to know how to find the n term of geometric sequences as well as the sum formula Okay, so we're going to start with sequence. So sequence basically defined as function whose domain is the set of natural numbers. The value of fn, f1, f2, f3 are called the terms of the sequence. Meanwhile, series is the sum of the terms of a sequence. So examples of sequence might be 3, 6, 9, 12 and so on which this one we call as infinite sequence. Meanwhile, we also have finite sequence where it do have the full stops here. Okay, so let's look into how to determine the TN. So from here, we know that each of the terms are the multiplication of three. So therefore, the triples of n, which n is started with 1, 2, 3, and so on, because we have an infinite sequence here. Okay, so let's look into our first example. Find the tn for this following sequence. So let's say if you have 3, 9, 27, 81, 2, 4, 3, and so on. Please denote that there are common things here which is our t1 our first term is 3 our second term is 9 meanwhile which is at the same time is 3 square okay and then our third terms is 27 which at the same time is 3 cube and so on so the common pattern here would be Tn having the form of 3 to power of n. Where n is all the positive integers. Okay. So next example. Example 2. So let's say given to you Tn is 5 plus 2n and then the second one is the n n squared minus n so find the first five terms of the sequences so let's say for the first one we have our tn is 5 plus 2n so question wants you to find the first five terms so therefore, you need to list down everything there. So T1 means you are substituting 1 into your N here. So that should be 7. T2 means you are substituting 2 inside your N. So therefore, it's 9. And then T3 would be 5 plus 2 times 3, which is 11. And then T4, fourth term, is 5 plus 2 times 4, which is 13. And then the fifth term should be 5 plus 2 times 5, which is 15. Okay. And then for B, I would love you to do it by yourself. Given that it's the N is n squared minus n okay so please do this by yourself right and check the answer 
respectively with your lecturer. Okay. So for series, because we have agreed before that it's actually the summation of the terms of a sequence. So we can conclude that our Sn is the summation of T1, T2 plus T3 up till Tn. Okay, so note that if you want S4, the summation of the first four terms is a finite series. And then if we want S infinity, it means that it's the summation, it is a summation of our first term up until only God knows when. Okay, that's why we call this as infinite series. Okay, so how about this one, partial sum? Partial sums means when you know the concept of series, we already know that our S1 is actually T1, our S2 is actually T1 plus T2 and so on, which we can conclude that our Sn is T1 plus T2 up until Tn. Okay, so therefore, we can conclude that Tn is basically Sn minus with Sn minus 1. So therefore, if you have like T4, you want to find T4, it's actually S4 minus with S3. Okay, people? Clear? All right. So S1 is called the first partial sum. S2 is called the second partial sum and so on. And then S1 up until Sn will be called as partial sums. Everything there. 